Hey guys, welcome back. Today I had a request to talk about Russian watches. So, Russian watches are not the first thing that come to people's mind when they think of top-notch type pieces. You think about Rolex, you think about Omega, you think about Seiko, or even Timex nowadays. But Russian brands have been making watches for decades, and some of them even before the Second World War. We just don't hear often about them and uh, when I first started my channel I talked a lot about watches because they are affordable they are affordable they're unique they're eye-catching and different uh, grabbing one of these watches uh, and they are usually a bargain you will not only be getting a piece of watch making history but something you can boast to your friends and family and you will have a cool story to tell and every watch tells a story and these Russian watches do have some stories. So first watch on this list is Polot. Polot means flight and it's one of the oldest and most important Russian watch brands and uh, I think they it's their flagship brand. Uh, they are making watches ever since the 60s and uh, they have so much cool watches that it's insane. From the aviator to the watches that space watches. I did a lot of videos and reviews. Uh, the best place to get these watches, especially vintage ones, is eBay, but you can as well find it uh, because they're so popular, you can get it on Amazon as well. And uh, they are very, very interesting watches. 3133 Chronographs, Pilot Strela. I did a review of Pilot Strela, and nowadays they are using 3133 Chronograph Movement. But Strela is a type of watch that looks like classy 10 lane Strela is like your IWC Portuguese chronograph. They come in variety of colors and they are just great. So these are, those are two of my favorite uh, pilot watches, Strela. Uh, I also had a pilot aviator. It was a bit more modern, but it looks, looks like a Fortis Cosmonaut watch also. And uh, on the used market, you can buy a lot of pilot watches. On eBay, you can get a vintage for as little as 20 bucks. Uh, from the vintage dress watches from Pilot, I recommend taking a look at Pilot Deluxe. So whether you want a Strela, Aviator, Ocean, or Pilot Deluxe dress watch, Pilot has it all and it's one of my favorite Russian watch brands. The second on the list is probably the most popular and people are most familiar with. Uh, it's a Vostok. Vostok means east. So we said the bullet means flight. Uh, Vostok means east. And such a cool name for a watch brand. Like I said, most people are familiar with because they dare die watches. There's a Vostok Amphibia, uh, which is their flagship die watch, and it's also one of the best and most affordable die watches and horological interesting. It's somewhat of an iconic watch, and uh, you can see it in many watch collections, especially with the die watch collectors. Uh, the lots of special editions of Amphibia, and for around 60 US dollars, you can get fantastic watch as far as the company itself goes it's been making high quality watches since the 40s uh, i think 1942 uh, but uh, for the most part company focused making watches for military individuals uh, as well as special forces and uh, of course the watches work equally for you for me and i just love them uh, they include also pilots divers uh, and uh, lots of different watches. You just dip into the world of eBay and these watches and you will learn and find um, lots of these watches. Of course, the most popular are Vostok Amphibia and Vostok Komodersky 
and uh, Vostok is a no-nonsense brand. All of these watches from Russia are very affordable when compared to Swiss counterparts, but some of them are equal, if not better. So first we had Polot, which means flight, Vostok means east, and third favorite brand from Russia is Raketa, and it means literally a rocket. Most of you guys have heard for about Rocket Big Zero, Raketa Big Zero. It's fun, very lighthearted watch. I did a review. Uh, it has a very interesting dial layout. Vintage examples aren't difficult to find, but you can't. You get it for under 100 bucks. And most of these watches, most of Raketa watches, were my first introduction to Russian watches because. Uh, you can get it literally for 20 bucks on a Patel 100 and you get a Russian version it says on, on the bottom of the dial SSSR or uh, export version that says USSR so it's a cheap watch no frills Russian handmade hand widening movement in-house from Raketa even to the day they are making their uh, movements in-house and uh, the history is from somewhere from the 1700s even today they're uh, making their own watches and it's the oldest watch company in russia as far as i know beautiful watches i already mentioned raketa big zero raketa power watches 24 hour dial uh copernicus uh, Raketa Copernicus has that moon and sun shaped hands. Fantastic, wonderful little watches and very affordable. Next brand on the list is Sturmansky. Sturmansky. Uh, yeah, it's not my favorite because I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Sturmansky Gagarin. And uh, this watch. To be honest, it's not my really favorite watch, but uh, you cannot make a list without this one because when the space race uh, was hot topic back in the 60s, everyone wanted to go to the space, Cold War and everything. A lot of watch companies were seriously trying to get their watches to space on the first missions from NASA, Moonwatch and everything else, you know the story. But on the other side of the globe, behind the Iron Curtain, Gagarin, had already made the first trip around the Earth in a spacecraft and he was wearing the Stromansky Gagarin watch. Uh, of course, it's not possible to wear this watch, exact watch he wore. He wore it back in 61, but you can get vintage versions from eBay or a similar watch on Amazon. So Stromansky is definitely interesting and uh, they have a very special designation on the wrist of the first cosmonaut who ever went into outer space but uh the the mere fact that it, this is the brand that it was chosen for for this uh, task speaks volume about the quality and products turned out by this quality uh this is definitely not my favorite russian brand uh, maybe it has a lot to do with the me don't know how to pronounce it properly Strumansky, but i think i'm doing a good job and uh, no list is complete without this one so the next watch is really not my cup of tea but it's a dive watch and uh, i have i know a lot of you guys are dive watch collectors and if you are serious dive watch collectors there is no reason of not owning this one well there is a reason it's ugly and it's big it's monster or you can say basic quirky and cheap but it's none of those things this watch is a uh, h2 armor uh, it's crazy some of the models have a diameter of 58 millimeters and uh, if you take account the huge crown uh, this is one of the biggest heaviest watches you'll ever come across i did not own one but these watches have a serious history because they were designed in the 70s for the russian navy and uh, they are still produced in small numbers in zlatost uh the small it's a small industrial town and that's the name of the watch in the ural mountains and uh, this is obscure brand they don't produce a lot of watches and this watch is more of a conversation piece than 
something of a daily wearer, but something it does really something. If I was a ext extreme die watch collector, I collect only die watches. I think this has a place in it because if you can get your hands on one, it's up to you. I had to mention it because it's really quirky, big, huge, monstrous, but somehow it's somehow it's cool.